Welcome to another episode. In this one, I'll be discussing one of the another uh, free certification. Uh, free certification in the sense, uh, this is not on the technical side. Uh, not about the cloud certification uh, provided by Oracle, but it is altogether a different certification. Uh, this is um, provided by CB. This is on investors, investor certification. And this I will highly recommend, uh, particularly for non-technical folks uh, like um, people with uh, uh, engineering background, uh, particularly uh, for, I mean, even students, management uh, uh, students, uh, and even an IT professional, because IT professionals earn a decent salary and uh, they look out for avenues to where to invest. And these days, Stock exchange, particularly mutual fund, is uh, one of the uh, sector on which they make the investment without understanding what is a mutual fund. And they just take a lead from their friends and invest in mutual fund. The basic reason is uh, they invest on the mutual fund is they provide a higher returns when compared to uh, fixed deposit in banks. Uh, fixed deposit in banks is about 5 to 7 percent. Uh, and 5 to 7 percent uh, return is just uh, better for inflation but however uh, if it is a long-term um, investment uh, it will not be like a mutual fund which is supposed to provide a better result of uh, 14 to 15 percent and, and above the mutual funds or the share market so that way if you look at uh, the stock exchanges uh, it has uh, grown over a period of time um, say for example uh, it was uh, about um, 17 million who had invested in stock exchange in 2015 uh, and that has gone, grown to uh, four times uh, and in 2024 there are 90 million who have invested in stock exchange. So there are two things. One is that uh, of course they now have excess money which can be uh, invested. The economy is growing. There is excess money. Uh, which can be invested. Number two is that um, the stability and reliability of stock market in India. So over the uh, last uh, five to ten years, uh, the results are better in stock market. So that way, even uh, the foreign investment it is coming into India, and they get invested as well. So having said that, if you are a technical person uh, and if you want to invest in money, because technical person, you would all along um, be uh, be more, uh, you know, this technical subject. But then how does a stock market work? So uh, what are what is a share and how do, how different it is from um, the mutual fund? What is a depth? So depth in the sense, uh, um, say, for example, fixed deposit. How is it different from uh, the stock market? And what is the risk fa factor? What is an equity? Uh, a, a equity to a company? And what is the risk associated with the equity? And uh, what is a fixed deposit in banks? And what is the risk uh, in uh, EFT as compared to uh, equity market or shares? Which has a higher risk compared to, um, uh, compared to uh, I mean, which has higher in the sense whether equity has a higher risk or um, fixed deposit has the higher risk. So, I mean, any kind of a, even if he's a small investor, he need to have an understanding on all these things before investing instead of blindly following and investing in the stock market. So that way, there is a free certification provided by uh, CB. Um, so it's better uh, any investor, however small they are, they can take this, they can learn um, and uh, again, what is the interesting point is that uh, even the study material is free of cost provided by uh, CB. So you can uh, maybe you just prepare about uh, depending upon your knowledge. It doesn't take uh, maybe uh, maybe one week it take or maybe 10 days depending upon the amount of time you spend. Um, so it might take a week or so if you are totally maybe two weekends uh, or three weekends it takes and then you can because it's a free certification and then you can schedule this exam and take up this exam. So that will give you an idea uh, about what is all about uh, this security market in India. How does it works? What is the insurance? What are the types of accounts? Say, for example, savings account. What is a current account? So all these are provided in the uh, study material itself. You can go through and understand it and then register for the exam and take this exam because, again, it's free of cost. You can take this exam 
you can uh, widen your knowledge and then you can um, then uh, invest in stocks or mutual fund because there are uh, if you look at it there are uh, different online uh, platform uh, like uh, grow then there is serada and recent time there is also uh, hdfc sky of course earlier days it was called as hdfc security and now the last year in october 23 is what uh, hdfc has come out with hdfc sky um, and uh, the earlier days there is Shar Khan, there is uh, uh, others like icsa direct so to gain knowledge yes you go through it maybe spend about uh, two three week weekends if you're a uh, if you're a professional it professional or someone who is working uh, two three work uh, weekends and gain knowledge then they take the certification and then uh, you can invest in the stock if you're already investing in stock as well no issues uh, you can take the certification gain more knowledge so you can so that you can uh, keep your uh, keep on investing so i will go through uh, the website as well so where you can uh, uh, and how to register for it i'll just go through that as well this is the certification i was uh, discussing about cb investor certification examination as you have uh, seen here it's free you get a study material as well and uh, there is no exam fees you can uh, i mean uh, take the exam at home only thing is uh, the process of registration happens first you need to register uh, for the exam and uh, for that uh, you need to have a pan uh, the first one is of course the pan uh, and the next one is uh, you need to have another identification um, instrument like it could be your own uh, aadhar or it could be driving license or passport it could be any of them and you need to have that jpg image um, uploaded into the registration and uh, yeah it takes about uh, two to three days uh, to have the, the process of registration to get completed because it goes through the validation at uh, the national institute of uh, security market it's an institute based out of bombay and uh, uh, i guess there is some validation and after that you get a email uh, so if you look at it uh, let me um, get here register for certification exam particularly if you're a first timer if you don't have it because uh, it is not just uh, the investor certification there are other certification exams as well but this one it is the basic of basic uh, certification particularly if you are uh, um, a kind of a technical person don't have any kind of a knowledge on finance how the security works so um, the in that case yes i would highly highly recommend this yes even the students yes the student commerce students or management students or engineering students i would uh, highly recommend them to take as well apart from the it um, people working in it sector and those who whoever have uh, surplus uh, income who are, who are looking for avenues to make uh, investment particularly in the mutual fund or in share market yes i will highly highly recommend them because uh, if you look at it <clears throat> you have a steady material as well so we will see that so register for the exam if you click on this link um, it will open up uh, gives you that email confirm the email yes this password is important particularly when you want to um, um, register for the exam so you give the password uh, and then title it's all straightforward gender uh, pan pan is mandatory so if you don't have a pan yes then it's not possible to take this exam so i think uh, now most of us even uh, just the finally a student or just for passing out of college uh, apply for a pan so you have need to have a pan confirm the pan number you need to have a recent photo scan a pan image and proof of address um, it can be aadhar it could be driving license passport uh, so the proof needs to you have to take it as a, a jpg file upload it and finally give all the details and then submit uh, post submission it takes about once you submit itself you get a, a, a pop-up message saying that it takes about two to three days before it gets approved so just wait for uh, two to three days once it is get approved you'll get an email and then you need to log in to uh, register so here it is uh, i mean once you have a mail um, for, uh, which is comes through and uh, if you click on that uh, mail link it will take you uh, to the, this page where you need to give your email id and password to log in so here i am uh, I have logged in into the uh, website that is uh, to register for the exam. 
And again, it is pretty straightforward steps you have. You can enroll. This is here. Enroll for CB Investor Certification. There are other exams as well. Uh, yeah, this are for, other exams are uh, pretty advanced. So I'm um, I'm just going to go through the, this one alone. That is uh, the CB uh, Investor Certification. Not much. It is pretty straightforward. So say that uh, CB uh, Investor Certification exam. Pr uh, proceed to uh, see here. The mode of payment is no cost. So availability of exam is only online. Examination center is online only for this exam. Otherwise, you need to uh, check different uh, centers. Available date. Uh, what is available? Next available date is uh, generally um, it will be the next day, the following day, or after that only you'll get a slot. So just uh, two days in advance, uh, you need to plan, select a slot, and uh, then submit it. So uh, you will get uh, just before 24 hours of exam. Uh, you get a notification for your login ID and password. So it's a 50 question multiple choice and all the questions mostly will revolve around the study material. Though there are few questions, situational question, for example, if X has uh, uh, say um, 1 lakh rupees and uh, what is the mode of uh, investment he need to make. So it's kind of a situation. So about four questions are situation questions, but otherwise uh, other questions, other 45 questions are mostly a kind of a recall. Whatever you have uh, read uh, about uh, the mutual funds, the shares, um, the otherwise uh, the insurance, most of them are whatever is there in the, the study material. Um, it will you will get the uh, same. The duration is about one hour and um, 50 questions. And they are mostly direct questions. So particularly on the security aspect that is on the shares aspect so uh, you could easily uh, get a pass percentage i scored about uh, uh, 83 or 86 uh, percent so not much uh, difficulty you can easily pass only thing is yes uh, if you are totally new to the subject i would highly recommend that uh, and if you are particularly if you are working i would recommend you take uh, maybe uh, two weekends uh, and then um, prepare in the weekends two days each prepare and then um, appear for the exam okay. Already, if you are knowing about the basics of uh, all this investment uh, on the mutual fund, then it is hardly just you takes about a day or two or few hours just to scan it. Only thing is you need to have the exam slot and it requires a 24 hours uh, prayer uh, registration. You need to register and then take the exams. So I hope uh, you found this useful because I found it useful, particularly since I my background, though I'm, I'm, I also have an MBA, MBA as well and know how a stock market works, what is an equity, what is a debt fund, what is a fixed uh, deposit. But still, I took the exam just to uh, just to gain more confidence. So that way you can take, I would highly recommend to take this exam. And uh, also like for the study material, yes, on the uh, home page itself, you have the study material. So give your name, um, the email ID, mobile city, so you can download the material. So this will be like, uh, for this exam, you can download the other materials as well, even if you're not uh, taking the exam. So you can download them. Uh, so this one is on the investor certification. So this you have to download uh, and then use that for the preparation of the your exam. So this is the study material. Um, yeah, this is the topics, uh, financial planning, uh, investment security market, insurance related, pension risk, retirement uh, uh, estate planning, borrowing related product. So uh, there are, uh, this is from a kind of a financial overview, financial education, and there is one more as well, which is on the uh, security mass, um, market. Uh, yes, here it is. The other one is uh, security market understand from the investor perspective. So this is the second booklet. Um, so all the regulatory, uh, regulatory framework for security market. So uh, just about, uh, I mean, if you're totally new, it might take about a few days, depending upon the amount of time um, you can uh, spend. Otherwise, yeah, if you are already having a good knowledge, it all depends on you. It might take just few hours. I took about few hours is then registered for the program. So that way, what is interesting is that uh, you have some material uh, which is provided and then you can take an exam, uh, online exam, and that too, it is free uh, and at your convenience, you can take. Uh, and uh, you get a certification as well, certificate as well from CB. So particularly, yes, um, if you're, as I've been saying, if you're uh, into the, if you want to look at, to understand how the stock market works or how the investment uh, need to be made through a mutual fund, 
you can just uh, go through the study material and take the certification so thank you i hope you found this uh, episode interesting i hope you take this opportunity and take up this certification as well and in case uh, if you are not registered um, to this my uh, channel please do register and do share with your friends as well who would be interested in taking up this certification who is not aware of it you can share with them as well thank you and cheers